Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, are you tough enough? And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they woke him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they fear exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Mark 4, 38, 41 I believe the Lord wants us to be tough. Yes, I believe he's calling us to a place of toughness. Peter reminds us in 1 Peter 1 verse 7 that the trial of your faith be more precious than that of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire. The principles of adversity comes from understanding that easy living produces a certain softness. Animals in the zoo, they lie there, they yawn and they eat, they become flabby, they're not toned up, they're not ready for action because all their needs are met. There's something about having to work for it. A lion in the jungle that's a predator. They have to live to the stress and the strain of knowing that if they don't hunt, then they don't eat. And if they don't eat, then they die. Many of us tend to worry about things, but why do we worry? Let's analyze something just for a bit. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament short forth his handiwork. As awesome as creation is, the God who spake and it was done is your friend. I don't want to trivialize anyone's problem and what you're going through, but I'm amazed how we're so easy to complain and to be willing to give up and throw in the towel. Three cloudy days in a row is enough for us to become depressed, or frustration over the fact that your boss didn't appreciate what you did, or even my car won't start. Now folks, if this is true about the animals, then it is true about us. The tougher we are mentally is the more victorious we will be spiritually. In the New Testament, we see Jesus was on the boat with the disciples and he fell asleep and the disciples became afraid. But he rebuked them because in the previous chapter of Mark, he had just taught them what it means to have faith. Did you know that the same boiling water that softens a carrot will harden an egg? Some people respond to adversity by getting tougher while some get softer. Sometimes you're placed in a position to be tough without any warning. I remember years ago losing my father. Now, being the youngest, one would imagine that I would be taking this harder than most persons. But as hard as it was, I realized my family was devastated. I had to summon on strength that I didn't know that I have. I stood as a rock for my mother, sisters, and brothers. Our experiences are not to make us weaker. But God placed them in our lives to bring us to a place of spiritual maturity. I encourage you, don't throw in the towel. Get tough enough. The quote of the day, same boiling water that softens a carrot will harden an egg. As you go today, know that God has you on a spiritual workout to build your spiritual muscles. And as he was with Moses, Joshua, or David, he will be with you. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Hey,